one of the biggest challenges that many people face in their personal finances is how to save money for the long term. When I say long term, I'm talking about consistently saving money for years to come so that we'll all have lots of money when we're older. The problem is when most people try to save, they do it backwards. Let me explain. Here's how most people try to save money. Number one, they earn income and get paid. Two, they pay their bills. Three, they go about their day-to-day -day spending. And then four, they try to save something for their future with whatever money is left over. The problem is there's never any money left over. Here's what you should be doing instead. Number one, earn income and get paid. Two, automatically, that's important, put some money away for your future. Three, pay your bills. And then four, go about your day-to-day -day spending. In other words, you should pay yourself first. What's important is that it happens automatically on payday before you have a chance to spend that money. Most people are genuinely surprised by just how little they miss the money if they give themselves some time to adapt and by just how much money can grow over time through the incredible power of compound interest. For example, Let's say that Jennifer pays herself an average of $60 a week for 35 years between the ages of 25 and 60. Over that time, Jennifer would put away $60 a week times 52 weeks in a year times the 35 years is $109,200. But after the 35 years, Jennifer wouldn't actually have $109,200. If she earns an average of 7% interest annually, Jennifer would end up with over $500,000. That's right, Jennifer would end up with almost five times as much money as she actually saved because of the amazing power of compound interest. Thank you.